Amistios will aren't you a sight to my age dies. Young, energetic. Perhaps I should just pay for your body instead of your help. All things get better with age, don't they? You. The Oracle said that if I'm to live a long and happy life, I need to stay young at heart. But I mustn't lose focus. I need your help more than your magnificent body. I'm glad to hear it. Corigos, my husband, is having some difficulties keeping up with my hunger for pleasure. I imagine any man would. Oh, I have many lovers, but he's my soulmate. When we're together, it's indescribable. Then don't describe it. When we were younger, we would run into the moonlit forest, shed our clothes, and pleasure each other until sunrise. Our howls of ecstasy would echo throughout the valleys. I hope I'm as feisty as you at your age. I'm feistier now than I've ever been. What does this have to do with me? I've learned of a powerful elixir, which if consumed will give someone the vigor and stamina of Eros. If you can gather me the ingredients, I can make it for my husband. All right, I'll find the ingredients, if you promise to keep your nocturnal activities to yourself. I have some drachmi, and Koragos has more. If you can bring me some bear scrotum and a deer tongue, I can make the elixir. Oh, is that all you need? Don't worry, I'll reward you well. I'm sure Koragos will be thankful also. I'll be back with the ingredients soon. Drink an elixir made from this. What kind? 
kind of elixir uses ingredients like these? Mistyos, you're back! And not a moment too soon. I got what you asked for. Who is this Avxesia? This is the Mistyos who's going to reignite our spark, my love. Oh no! We've been through this. I can't satisfy you anymore. You're going to kill me with your lust. Nonsense! I'm going to make you an elixir that will give you the vigor of a man a fraction of your age. God save me! I cannot do this anymore. I don't need any payment. I'm just glad I could help. You are too kind, Mistyos. The gods have truly blessed me by crossing our paths. You two have fun, but not too much fun. Oracle is hiding inside. I'll finally get some answers. And 
Αμφιβολώ, δώσ' τι είσαι νύχημα της. Τι ανείς με πληθύνες. That's a lot of protection for the Pythia. I just want answers. The Pythia is a sacred vessel of the gods. People travel the world for my answers. But none of them would dare break into my home. Apollo's wrath will be cruel and swift. Guards! I'm looking for my family. And everywhere I go, people are either lying or trying to kill me. You're the first person who might have some answers. But they'll kill me if I tell you. Not if I get to them first. Help me, and no harm will come to you. I promise. All right. But ask your questions quickly. The longer you're here, the more at risk we both are. Why would you work for the cult? I have no choice. So, all those prophecies from the gods, all those people, you're paid to deceive them all? Most want to know about love or death. I tell them what they want to hear. But when people want to know about war or politics, I'm paid very well to tell them what the cult wants them to hear. You said you saw me in your visions. What did you see? There is an artifact under the temple of Apollo. It reveals what only the gods should know. You called me the child on the mountain. The cult hunts a Spartan child who survived the terrible fall from Mount Taietos. The artifact revealed that child to be you. You have an opportunity to do the right thing. Tell me where to find the cult. Tell me where they are. Or we'll go find them together. Beneath the Temple of Apollo, there is an ancient chamber. I think they meet there. But without one of their cloaks and masks, you won't make it more than two steps inside. Where can I find one of these cloaks and masks? There is a man. He visits me from time to time, makes sure I'm well taken care of. I have the biggest house in the Hora of Delphi, yet he still offers Drachmi for my troubles. Gives me the creeps. What's his name? Elpinor. Elpinor? He's with the cult? I can't be sure. But if he is, he would definitely have what you require. Any idea where I can find him? There is a fort just south of the Valley of the Nymph. He's been known to conduct business there. You've been helpful. May the light of Apollo guide you to your family. So much for using finesse. I should tell Herodotos what the Pythia told me about the cult. Maybe he'll have some insight. <laughs> of Cosmos is hunting me, but I'm going to hunt them first. She told me they meet in a secret chamber under the Temple of Apollo. So it's all true. If the cult has done anything, it's fooled this old man. I can't get in without a mask and cloak. It's how the cultists identify each other. The Temple of Apollo is by the Cave of Yea. Simple enough to find. But a cultist's mask and cloak? 
How will you accomplish that? The Pythia gave me the only clue I need. When I'm ready, I'll meet you at the temple. For now, I'm going to kill Elpinor. Malakas liar.
I've never seen so many olive trees. What's your problem? What don't I have fucking problems with? The Oracle for one, the sea for another, and don't get me started on my crew. You have business with the Oracle? You're a long way from Delphi. Had business. And my business is none of your fucking business. I ain't shopping for a merc. If anything, I need the gods. You need a god? I'm the next best thing. Oh, you're a live one. That's a good pitch. I'll give you that. So, who are you? Captain Yellon of the Shark's Tooth. Shark Tooth's your boat? Do I look like a fucking fisherman? I sail a ship, not a boat. It was just a question. I'm here to help. Oh, it's not your fault. After my business with the Oracle, I came to meet my ship and crew. That was a day ago. And they're nowhere to be found. So where's the shark's tooth? I wouldn't fucking be here if I knew, would I? Okay, let me rephrase. Where was the crew meant to be? Well, um... I sent my girl Yiki off. Pilgrims get stuck in the shallows around here, and, uh, We sort of help out. Oh. Your girl? Yeah. Best hand I ever had, and more. Look, find my ship and my Yiki, will you? I'll pay. I'll find out what happened and bring them back. I'll find them and return as soon as I can.
Need something, stranger? You... you sail up both the Avrestia with Varnavas. How do you know this, stranger? I once stood alongside him, until a filthy pirate ran his blade through my back. Now I can barely stand straight. I was replaced by you. I'm sorry to hear about your injury. I had no idea I was taking anyone's place. The worst part is, I always dreamt of sailing with my son. Ah, but with my back, I can't even collect enough wood to build a fair look after him. So you want me to give you some drachmi? Yes, any drachmi you can give helps. All right, here it is. the shark's tooth, all right. Or what's left of her. Attention! Commander leaving the helm! the description of Yiki's armband. Got the whole crew.
Where's that coming from?
I should tell Gellon about the Kiki. -ki. when you are
for you, Commander. Found your ship. And? Come on now, where are they? Where's my Yiki? I really don't know how to tell you this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Zeus could have impregnated the whole of Athens in the time it takes you to say anything. Where are they? They're dead, all right? And your ship's gone too. Oh, my Yiki. All I found is her armband. Yiki. Suppose I'm not much of a captain now. Can't be a captain without a ship. I can offer you a place on my crew. I know it's not like having your own ship, but you'll be part of a family. Hmm. Well, I'd rather be at sea than stuck here with these pious idiots. You got yourself a deal. Just till I'm back on my feet. Of course. Now, where is your boat? Ship? <laughs> it's called the Adrestia. Whatever you say, Captain.